Grace Campos. I am a first year student at Pomona and I'm a prospective politics and Chicano Latino studies major. I am from New York City and I was raised and like grew up my entire life there. Um, I come from a family of Mexican American immigrants. Um, so a large part of my childhood was, you know, always celebrating that culture. Something that I noticed from like a pretty early age was definitely the impact of like immigration status on your quality of life and based on like what sorts of rights you have, what sorts of privileges. A large part of my childhood was doing theater and acting and film and things like that. And it was always something that coexisted alongside my academic interests. Yeah, the first week of classes, I think the biggest stress was getting around. And getting around this campus, the thing that I was probably most surprised about was how big it is, like compared to how small the student body is, because you kind of assume that it'll be small, it'll be easy to get around to, but I had no idea where I was going. I feel like a typical day, and I'm not gonna choose a specific day. A typical day would consist of me waking up my roommate knows I set like a million alarms for myself because I can't get out of bed unless I have like three or four alarms. Um, so I'll get up and sometimes me and my roommate will go to Frank Dining Hall, which is the best dining hall, and we just grab some breakfast. So we'll grab coffee and like yogurt and just do work together. So that's work like before my classes begin. So I'm taking a class called Modern Political Theory um, a class called Chicanx Latinx Education, a class called, um, it's an anthro class at Scripps, uh, Palestine and Ethnography and Film, and my fourth class is Intro to Film. And for each of those classes, like Modern Political Theory, it's the second in a segment from first semester called Classical Political Theory, and it's basically as straightforward as it sounds. It's like, we read a bunch of modern political theorists from Nietzsche and Freud, which is who we're reading this week. My Chicanx Latinx education class, it's a sociology class and it's by a professor that I'm actually doing research with this summer in the Chicano Latino Studies Department. And she is incredible. Her whole pedagogy is that she's focused on creating a community. Um, so not only in the class, but also it's a community partnership with Pomona High School. So we go there every, I would say like we've gone there three times now. And we've also had the Pomona students come here to the college. And then my third class, Intro to Film, that's also at Pomona. This class has made me look at editing and sound and how, you know, everything from the props to the makeup to the costumes, like how it all goes into creating the movie. And it's been a really fun time. After class, uh, I'll probably work a little bit more. So I'll go to like the Smith Campus Center, I'll go to the library and get some things done. And then I like to break up my work with things that I love to do. So part of that will be going to Thatcher and practicing music. I love to like not only sing music, but also write. So I spend a few hours, typically a day, writing. Um, it just, it takes my mind off of a lot of things and it also allows me an outlet to channel my emotions. If I have a club meeting later that night, I'll go into the, I'll go do that club meeting. Just like, I'm somebody that likes to be busy. So I also like downtime. It's just like, you can, you can definitely balance it. <laughs> That's my insight. I, I'm really lucky because I've kind of gotten into a bit of a rhythm in like when I do my work, cause I have classes later in the day, which was definitely not my intention, but it has been a blessing for my sleep. I think that like the big thing is older students. So even if it's not just sponsors, it's like people in my Chicano Latino studies class, um, going to them and talking to them has always been helpful cause they've been through it. You know, they know what it's like to be a first year. They've somehow navigated their way through like three more years than you. So talking to them is always really helpful. I see myself very much combining my creative interests with my academic ones. And I've been lucky enough that Pomona has given me the liberty to do that.